Loving the shit out you, fucking the shit out you for seven days straight, and now I can't. Ele What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ashley, and as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's just gonna be a regular little vlog. Um, basically, what I do at work. So this is basically just gonna be like a little um, day vlog of what I'm gonna be doing. I'm currently at work. In a little bit, I will be going downstairs because they are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. So I'll be taking my patient downstairs to the dining room to basically join everybody else with the activities that they have going on. If you guys follow us on social media, which I tell you guys to do all the time, you guys will see that we have to go to the hospital. We have to go to the hospital because I knew Brianna was sick, but I didn't know exactly what was going on. So I kind of knew. I told her she had the flu and she didn't want to believe me. She wanted to be sure about the situation. So we go to the hospital and after all those hours of sitting, I was right. She had the flu. Like I, She had a fever of 106, almost 107. So that was pretty frightening. And what made us really get up, because she had already been sick for two days, but we had been buying over-the-counter medicine to see if it was going to get any better. The second day, um we were laying in bed and she was shivering like really bad like shaking bad and she kept saying i'm cold i'm really cold she had about three to four three to four blankets on her wrapped up up on her and she was still shaking so i was like okay when we drop off dad at work we're just gonna go straight to the hospital but i had told her if it doesn't you know get better in 15 to 20 minutes we'll just leave early and take you to the hospital because i don't want anything you know bad to happen or whatever um so yeah, she's at home. She's doing a little bit better. She's doing better enough to go do laundry. I know that for a fact. So she should be at the wash house. Um, I know she texted me earlier and said that we have to go rewash our cup. Other than that, yeah, I'm basically at work. Y'all gonna be seeing me in this outfit a lot. She doesn't like leaving her room. She's very quiet. She's very um, antisocial. If it's not her husband or her daughters or her daughter, excuse me, she has one daughter and two sons. And if it's not them, she really won't, she really wouldn't want anything to do with the conversation, anybody coming in. She, she, she doesn't like the doctor or anything. So it's, other than that, she's chill, 95 years old, blessed, 95. Um, and we'll catch back up when I get off of work or I'll probably actually I'll take you guys with me downstairs if we do decide I'm gonna push her to try to go out the room today or at least go outside like it's really pretty out today I'm really surprised like, it's so pretty like the weather is perfect so I'm gonna get her to try to go outside and just embrace the sun be one with the with the outs like we stay in we stay in this room literally for six to seven hours a day. She don't like to move. I try to get her to go out, take walks, talk to the other elderlies that's around her. She has two friends here she doesn't even like to go see. It's crazy. Like I could never, ever. But um, I like this job. I've been working with B for almost four months now. And I like it. I like working with her. She doesn't like give me a hard time. She doesn't cuss at me. She's not racist at all. I'm over here watching the cooking channel. I got my snacks with me. This is my, well, my Pringles, my little juice that's going now. I got my workbook right here. Um, chilling for now. I am going to be checking out this restaurant that I found in San Diego. As you guys know, Brown's birthday is coming up and I want to check out this restaurant because I think I want to do reservations there with us for her birthday because I think she will love it. Well, like I knew, B was not going to go out there and join in on the activities. Like I said earlier, She's antisocial, so she wasn't. I'm looking in the mirror, putting on my lip gloss. Sorry, guys. She wasn't really feeling it, being around everyone else. 
she's a room body kind of person. She likes to stay to herself in her room 24 seven by herself, like always. Um, I am bringing you guys with me. So let us, I'm bringing you guys with me so we can, we can finish feeding her. I'm not gonna put her in the camera, but just put her. Guys here, yeah. It has to be super fluffy, soft, soft. Can we do a friend right now? It's my phone. It's a camera, B. Look. I don't want to do the typical blueberry. It's a cell phone. She's eating a cheese quesadilla. All her food is. Pureed, meaning it's really mechanical soft. She don't eat hard food. Um, she eats chicken, if it's like shredded or shredded beef, or if she have a steak, it's chopped up very, very, very fine. Um, it usually takes me between an hour and a half to two hours to feed her, simply because she had a stroke and she is still recovering from her stroke. And with her being 95, 96, it's gonna take her, oh yeah. So she's still, you know, recovering from her stroke. So it's going to take her a little bit longer to heal um, because she's older, so. But other than that, she eats pretty good. This is the drink that I was telling you guys she drinks. She loves these. She don't like this chocolate one. She loves strawberry and sure. And cranberry juice. You guys can't see it. I'm gonna spill it if I try to tilt it, but cranberry juice. You want more? Oh, no, really you're done. You want a cookie? You want a cookie? Yeah. She loves cookies. As long as it's um, as long as it's um, thin and chocolate chip, she does not care. It could be dark chocolate. I think she has. Yeah, dark chocolate, regular chocolate, she does not care. I don't have that. Oh, she has napkins, so I don't touch the cookie. Grab her a cookie. Go back in the pack. And it is Ooh, as simple as that. Thank you. You're welcome. We are really running out of time, so we need to get those pies in the oven or they're not going to make it. And when I'm done telling you guys whatever else I have to tell you, that's when I'll go back. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. That's when I'll go back and. So I have to get resituated, guys. But I'm pretty much done with her. Um, she's finishing up her cook. So when she's done eating, I'll basically take her tray back to the cafeteria. And I'm done, pretty much. I sit here until she falls asleep or until she says she's ready to get back in bed. And my day is over. Like, these yellow ones are really good.
we're pretty much done here. I'm tuning back in with you guys when babe comes and pick me up. So, <clears throat> as you guys know, it is getting close to that time. Let's see. You know, minus the warm up, this would actually be really good, except for the fact that your chiffon cake is. 6.50. About 10 minutes left on the clock. I was really out at 6.30, but I'll stay to 7. Um, and plus, babe had to go drop off dad, so she might be a little bit late picking me up. I was thinking about going to Applebee's or something to go grab me like a little drink, but I'll just wait on Bree to come. The sun has officially started to go down. And it feels very, it looks beautiful. It feels beautiful outside. I love this weather for me to be an anemic person. I love being in the cold. I love, at night I have to be snuggled up in multiple covers, all the fans and the air conditioner gotta be on or I can't go to sleep. And don't ask me why I'm like that because I still don't know. But I'm gonna get back to y'all when we are in the car. Her body hurt. I was gonna say, I'm not feeling clown over. Yeah. Remember, y'all, I told y'all our door was messing up, so sometimes it locks on its own. And like I told you guys earlier, we are planning on buying a new car tomorrow. Hopefully. But we're gonna take y'all upstairs because it's the door. <laughs> this is exactly how you do it. No, it's not. Let me get one bite. Let me get one Let me get a sip. <laughs> yeah, let me have some. <laughs> Baby, for real, let me get a sip, please. I want to go get it for you all, so. And you was drinking it already. Because it was getting juice at the bottom. I know you wanted the slush, right? Can I have a sip? No. You said a sip. Let it go. Mom, tell her to let it go. Move. Look at this. Cherry. Jolly Rancher. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna make these. <gasps> I'm about to eat, y'all, and take a shower and get ready for work tomorrow. But that was our day vlog, basically. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell them, babe. Say, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, and you booty. <laughs> Good night, y'all. How would you do that? Turn the camera on. I already said goodnight. Okay, you can put this back in there. What you talking about? How this? Stop abusing me. I got that on camera. I know you don't. They look good too. Can't see it. Look at The potatoes better than your mouth, huh?